Thank you for pressing three. At the tone, please record your message. Oh, I, I, I think I lived. I, oh, oh no, I At think I'm tone, also having please a Please record your oh. message. Oh my God. <laughs> if this is my final message to the world, please tell, I, I need you all to know. Fuck you, ANA Silverstein. I hope you burn <laughs> in hell. <laughs> That was a good cold open. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! There's gonna, no there's gonna be no context for that. There's gonna be no context. Oh my god! That's good. As soon as you got through the whole message on that second to last one, I knew what I was gonna do. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my okay. god, that was great. <laughs> Welcome back to Coach Corner K4, episode 61. I am your host. I'm joined today by the four stooges, uh, Mr. McFunkster, the Imperator, uh, Nem, and Morello Mariciano. Hey, don't worry. Don't worry, this one goes to 62. Bits? This one goes to 62, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one's just filler. Don't worry about this one. Skip this episode. No, skip this episode. A very necessary episode. <laughs> every episode is necessary. Go back and watch every previous episode and come back in like 18 days when you've returned. You are <laughs> right. Like you need to. It's it, episodes it, 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 overall like two hours long. Probably would take you what? 120 hours? I'd mean, say, yeah. Take it like, what, five days straight? <laughs> yeah, around there. <laughs> get to that. Take um, a small vacation. <laughs> watch our episodes. You need to. Do it. Yeah, we have to. Well, this episode isn't even posted yet, so yeah. yeah well, no. there's still a few episodes that aren't even posted yet. So there's a, a twelve that aren't posted yet. Yeah. Yeah. This is the thirteenth. There's a lot of Damn, content. We've got a backlog. Yeah. Yes, we do. This is the Halloween special <laughs> of uh, ah, K4. That really know, dates not, this episode, bro. It's not, yeah, it's not gonna come out on Halloween, but um, it's gonna come out next Halloween. Yeah, it's gonna come out like two months from now. But, uh, yes. Probably. <clears throat> We're recording it two days before ha uh, All Hallows' Eve. Three days before All Saints' Day. <clears throat> yes, indeed. Speaking of Saints, uh, last time on Dragon Ball Z Kai, our group of intrepid mercenaries um, decided vandals. to. Frame... Vandals. We're vandals. Yeah, you guys are vandals right now. <clears throat> you decided to frame uh, a local mercenary <clears throat> bar by the title of The Ascended uh, for crimes against public safety. And uh, workplace safety by uh, placing a bunch of asbestos throughout the building uh, in the middle of the night and then framing one of their employees whom you had forcibly overdosed on synth coke after knocking him unconscious with a few doses of powerful sedatives and uh, you frame that guy for the crime you received your payment, which was far too much money for the amount of work you guys did. But, you know, whatever. That's part for the course at this point. Hey, man. It was a union job. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah. So, uh, right now, you guys have finished your previous mission. Uh, but it, is, it is two days until rent is due, so I will give you guys those two days to do what you wish. Uh, any, any downtime <clears throat> things you want to do? I know what Kyra's gonna do. <clears throat> wow. He's gonna find a gunsmith. I thought you had one. Do I? Yeah, was, I think it, 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 there's I that guy that had made the sword. Guy. Yes, he's a blacksmith. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, but I need a gunsmith. I don't know if there's any different, differentiating. I mean, it is K4, so, and those two are, are, are pretty... Similar. Let me look at the description. This one's for... gonna be a pretty tall order. Swordsmith, so. man. Where's swords? Just like a building-sized railgun. I with wish. With a human-sized trigger. <clears throat> I wish. Let's see where it is. <clears throat> Bro, are you gonna make a gun for the mech? No. Aw, that's disappointing. <laughs> I mean, I could. Oh well, you, yeah, you do have uh, yeah, you have uh, Marquette Beauchamp, who is a Dutch expert weaponsmith and also a custom silverware manufacturer. Uh, and Weaponsmith uh, does include firearms, technically. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, uh, I'll go to him with this drawn-up plan. 
that uh, <clears throat> since the last mission Cairo would have put together. <clears throat> I will post the uh, weapon that Cairo was looking to have forged in QFTK chat. Uh, one moment. <gasps> So, uh, he'll go to him and be like, alright, so, since you did such a good job last time, I didn't know where else to go but to you, for, uh, a bit of a custom order. Alright, I forget what this man. I think he was Scottish. Was. I, don't, I don't know, I mean, his name is I Dutch. Think, I think he was, but. well, then possibly Dutch. Yeah, the the Dutchers just sound like scuffed French people, so I refuse to to voice a, a Frenchman. This is canonical. Fair uh, enough. Idiotic, of course, lore. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I think I gave you like the estimate of, <coughs> of what, like eight and a half k. You did, yes. So that is what he will charge you. All right, and then I'll give him all the specs that I require. All righty, he says that it will be done <coughs> in. Okay, we done, do we done and done in one day somehow. Oh, this perfect. Guy is bloody good at his job, I guess. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> uh, cool. So let me subtract. The money. That's literally one day of downtime. Yeah. What? Uh, let me get my calculator out. Gotta do some mathematics. Hundred gets you one oh five eight 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 five six. Okay. Um cool. Do you wanna do you wanna name this weapon? Anything in particular? I do. Mm. <clears throat> I'm going to name it. Hmm. I don't know. What would be a good... Uh, oh, I got it. The Wing of Osiris. Alrighty. What did you just make? Is it again? It is 4570. 4570. Jesus. Yes. And it uses rip ammo. Yeah. That's a first, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it is. Yeah, first person to use uh, any any of those special weapon types. Or well, because I know I know my uh, <clears throat> other revolver uses tracer. Yeah. <clears throat> and I said uh, for whoever didn't catch it. I said the wing of Osiris, or wings of Osiris. So I've got the hands of Anubis and the wings of Osiris. You're gonna build yourself like a full ancient Egyptian fursuit eventually? Like, uh, <laughs> what's with the name again? <laughs> yeah, bro, what are the mechs gonna be for? Yeah. <clears throat> the mech is just my fursuit. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, man, we're we're not wrong. Fairies are rich. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when four people chip in to buy one first. <laughs> uh, half a million dollar. Uh, <laughs> oh God. Next time the group goes and Kyra's like, guys, look at the modifications that I did to the mech suit, and we're all like, why does it have ears? Added with fur. <laughs> why does it have cat ears? Oh god. Has a whole ass tail. It's like this tail, I promise it helps with balance. It's like what? It's aerodynamic. God. It's passive defense, guys. <laughs> it <repels> the hose. <laughs> so there's Enveril rip ammo reinforced. Is that it? Uh, and then the grip. Ah, yes, the grip. <clears throat> Pardon me while I search my massive buddy's 
list of modifications. It's uh, right above melee modifications. In K0, I believe. This one. That is the list that I used. Holy shit. Barrel. We're a deadly team. You got rip ammo, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I even have a screenshot of what it does if people are looking for it. I have all three modifications. Now <laughs> that you mention it. Oh shit. Wait, you made another revolver, I see. Yes. <clears throat> I'm full specking into the gunslinger. You wanna be trippy? I just thought of something. But I was like, no, that that's done. So you know how we have like uh, where is it? I remember reading something how we can put like a tracker on someone, yeah? Yeah. And I was thinking, we already have homing air, uh, homing rounds. I was like, bro, imagine someone puts a tracker on someone, and someone with homing rounds with a sniper far back just gets an insta hit. Oh you my could. gosh! You could do that. That'd yeah. be nuts. Oh that would be, what would that? That'd be like, not necessarily homing ammo. But it's it would be smart like, ammo. Yeah, this is like, it's the know. same thing that um, it's smart oh pistol. my fucking god, no, because smart pistol is like the homing rounds that auto tracks. It's something else. It's, similar it's, to it's, it's it's like the Borderlands oh, it's Borderlands four three had it where you just put like a tracker on someone and just auto tracks with that. So you depending on where you put it, that's where the shot goes. So you can get all headshots with it. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Add that to the list. My phrase. I don't think auto rounds are on. I put it in a ricochet. Fill that out between sessions. So yeah, this this revolver is really good. If we go up against any heavily armored people, I can shred one point of ranged armor. Yeah. <clears throat> Which is pretty good. Indeed it is. It's nice to be able to afford these things. <laughs> yeah, no, I should know that you guys are getting into territory where you're going to have to worry about armored opponents. <clears throat> I'm the smart one. Well, I haven't bought okay. anything yet. Hold on. I think, I think the Deagles also. Or at least they use. No, they don't. Armor. They don't. They don't, uh, they don't rip. They don't destroy armor. They, destroy no, armor. they have armor. armor pen, but they don't they have don't armor destroy. ripping. They, they never destroyed. destroyed. Well, technically, breach used to be able to pen breach armor. Ignores cover now, which mm -hmm. is similar, I guess, but not quite. This is true. Let's mm. see here. I have one deagle, right? Yes, yeah. okay. Let's see, who wants to buy other things? <laughs> if anything. I don't know, what's... I don't know what to do on my list. Also, uh, <laughs> did we do um the stock market last I time? I suppose we didn't do it last time because it was like right off the day, but I guess since it's, it's going to be a few days. Um, ah, okay. I have to charge you guys for rent as well. Oh, Because <clears throat> I'm forgetting if I left my KE stocks. Like, I already pulled out because I'm at 19.5. I know I still have mine. I still yeah. have my stocks. I'm, I'm pretty sure, sure I pulled out from KE. Huh? Yeah. Uh, where is it? Where is stocks? I have KE or KU and New You. Because Man, you better not mess with, up. With that very mech suit, we might as well dip into <laughs> LLL, honestly. Ooh. Ooh. Gotta love Ooh. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you still have your KE socks. Like, no, I mean like the original pullout. I think I originally pulled out the 5,000 I put into yeah. it, and that's what it is. Oh, I'm waiting it's for really LSSI. To do ten thousand, and then I could pull out five. Okay, so you have KE and LSSI. Yes. Has, I don't, what does Oid have? Oid has. Yes. I think KE. And I'm gonna put. UUH I'm gonna right. put another two K into KE. Another two K into KE. Yeah, so I'm up to five. Right. Before, before you, you calculate it out. Alright. <clears throat> so you add more among me. Yes. Hopefully the stock market goes up. Okay, so I'll get my <laughs> immediately crashes. Me first. Uh, 
first, since they're the ones like everybody has. Uh, I rolled. I don't like that. I don't like that. Like that. <laughs> Sounds like they broke your threshold. My second dice roll is okay. Old an eighty. Oh. Oh. Pretty good. Okay. That you, be... That's not bad. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> That could have been really bad. It could have been, yeah. That could have been. Been, <laughs> <laughs> been a different number. It could have been a different number. Could have been bad, especially it. since it just put another two in. Yeah. Hey, he actually has a stock market crash. Yeah. The world is ending. Uh, so that would be uh, like that much. Eighty percent increase. Uh, okay. Let's see, so Kyra goes up to seven and a half. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Immediate paying out in dividends. Nice. -E. Oh, it does have good guy. Why well, has so much money in stocks? I need a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> How much does Oid have in stocks? 26,000 colors in KE right now. Yeah, he dumped a lot into stocks. I can't believe all of this stemmed from a meme. And now he's up to 39,000 in KE. Jesus, Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's how it works. It compounds, bro. I swear, he's gonna have like a hundred thousand within two months. He's not gonna use it for anything either. He's gonna have it. <laughs> just there on the character sheet. It's like, hey guys, yeah, just yeah, know, yeah, at any time, I can be richer than all of you. <laughs> yeah. God. He dumps all dump, his actual cash. I might, another, I might dump another K into KE stocks. Oh, it dumps a okay. hundred thousand. I might. To I just might. At 29. Yeah. Alright, what's uh, what's the other stocks in? Uh, and then I will do... Let's see. I know that Nox has LSS. LSS. Oh, yes. I don't think so. No, I have New U, but I can put 3K. New I can put... Uh, yeah, I can put 3... I'm going to put 3,856 into New U, or uh, LSSI. What a number. <laughs> yeah, it's very Well, cool. it's essentially the rest of my, like, loose money. Because I have 103... I have 103,856. For a second, I really thought you were going to say, like, your current bank account only had that much for loose money. No, and I'm no, like, are you money. telling me you have oh, zero? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have a bank account. I have <laughs> stocks. That's what, that's what people do, though. That's what, like, Jeff Bezos does. Jesus. What, just put them into stocks? Yeah, they have no liquid assets. It's all in, in, in investments. Yeah. Oh, my God. They avoid taxes, too, by the way. That's, oh my that's God. one way to avoid oh taxes, God. yeah. What? Holy man. At 100%? What a 99. Holy shit. Yeah, immediate We're getting return. paid today. Yeah. <laughs> immediate return. Yeah, immediate pay for his next job. <laughs> God, that's an immediate return. God damn. Yeah. I will pick the right day to put into LSSI. God. All right. Well, now your investment has gone from 3,856 to 7,326.4. Jeez. So almost just under double, basically. Well. Point full. Okay. And then... Kyle stuff. Nox's LSSI goes from 8,000 to 15.9. Nice. Now that you can just take out 5,000 from that, and then bam. Now both of my stocks are just free rolling. Alright, so you're going to add. That's like 42, okay, I think. Well, yeah, 14. Okay, and then Mr. Oid, who cool. also has a butt ton of money. I think I don't think you have side, do you? No. Okay. God, Next if he did, just imagine. Alright, let's see. New you, I got a 22. Good. New you goes down. <laughs> no. No. It, it, I was going to say I got like 17,326. In stocks. It was bound to happen, bro. I think that's like... Alright, that'll be... I Man, I was tempted to put in, too. Oh, down well. Down to... 14. Or 15. 
glad I only got 2k and knew you. Yeah. And then, uh, your 2k, 2.6k. I only put in, like, 1500, right? Uh, I think so. You're down to 2,400. Oh, that's not that bad. Yeah, and then comes Dream for the rest of Void stuff. I rolled a 71. Okay, that's pretty good. It's 13k in Dream. Uh, that would be... 3, so you go up... Oh, I syntax error. Uh, I can see Cairo just sitting in front of like his computer screen. He's got like 12 monitors. <laughs> so looking at all the different stock markets, drinking coffee. Sees KE go up, LSSI goes up. And then new you just tanks. Yeah. He's like, what the fuck happened? He's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Who escaped? Who was it? Oh, man, if I become a better hacker, I could probably, like, you know, Make tweak the stock market, market a little bit. Yeah. Well, that's not yeah. get swatted, but yeah, you can. You've done it before. That's why you use a VPN. <laughs> <laughs> Today's Your bro, sponsor. Bro, we're VPN. <laughs> Today's sponsor. <laughs> That's how we get I into think, it. I think I think with certain brands, if we ever start getting brand deals, we should just leave the brands in universe and be like, yeah, Kyra's gonna log into his Nord sponsored VPN. Nord VPN. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, why not? That's the only way we can not get a copyright strike. <laughs> yeah. Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> oh, uh, that's during his downtime <laughs> while he's waiting for his revolver, gonna Kyra's gonna start playing Raid <laughs> Shadow Legends on his on his phone. <laughs> Just yeah. kidding. He doesn't have a phone. So, uh, he's too poor. <laughs> stocks have been he's sold. he's got a brain implant. Well, that, is, that is a modification. If you if you don't want to have an, an actual physical cell phone, you can't get a brain chip. Well, I don't think he, he has. A, a, I, think Ky, I think that's what Cairo has. You guys, have, well, you guys have your helmets. They do the same thing. Yeah. Basically. Exactly. Uh, it's like it's like an Apple Watch. Yeah, pretty much. It's just you run on your face instead of your <laughs> like it's like Google glasses exactly. that, like covers your whole head and it's armored. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so the socks have been handled. So anybody else want to purchase anything with their newly uh, legally gotten gains? <laughs> Feel free. Painfully, I really want to try that like smart ammo dart gimmick, but at the same time, I'd have to like build it off off campaign. Well, you could take one deagle, convert it, and then convert the other deagle into smart. He only has one deagle. Oh, that's true. Bonus is the one that dual wields. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, bonus could do that then. Bro, bonus is two auto aiming smart deagles. <laughs> well, no, one fires the tracker dart, the other oh, fires the seeking he... ammo. Nah, nah, that's even so better. Nox buys the tracker dart, <laughs> shoots just... someone, and then three deagle shots. God. God. Yeah, bonus is a, a a monster. I'm saving up for like some of the really busted, overpowered abilities uh, and upgrades. Yeah, I, want to get I think I'm saving up for nano docs. Oh, for I thought you had the... No, I don't like have the... nano docs. You know, I thought you oh. bought basic ones at least. No, no, no! no. Oh. Look at my stuff. Look at my upgrades. Oh yeah, you don't. Amber. <laughs> You're behind. Oh, you're, you're on the, the campaign. What the hell? How you, I you're lucky you guys haven't gotten shot yet. <laughs> <laughs> like, who needs nanodocs when you don't get shot? I've I mean, been, honestly. I've been collar dumping into gunslinger upgrades. That this is true. true. If yeah. he gets the first shot, he doesn't need nanodocs. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> if I shoot first, yeah. I can't get shot. Yeah, can't get shot. Nobody left alive to shoot you. <laughs> exactly. This isn't an Alec Baldwin situation. It's not like the gun pulled its own trigger. No, I pulled the trigger. How much are they? Somebody else I can, remind me. I can tell you right now when I find them. I think they're only yeah. like. Uh, there's like three levels of them. So nano docks are 5,000. If you want to upgrade them, it's 10,000. It's nano surge. Yeah, nano, nano docks, nano surges. I think 
Oh, well, actually, that's kind of odd. Can we upgrade? Oh, wait, never mind. I see why it says. Oh, you know, Serifs, but I should change the angels too. Let me do that right now. Holy shit, you added more. Yeah. Oh, my uh -huh. fucking god. Yeah, I added a more nano. I added a bunch more stuff. <laughs> Jeez. Nano angels. Have you thought about the one thing uh, that I uh, proposed to you? Yeah, I have Dakota? to uh, come up with the mechanics for that because that's going to be an incredibly complicated series of modifications. Well, yeah. Uh, that is, yeah like the 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 the, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The like list entry, the entry for that is going to be a page long, so I have to. Um, where is this? Data. Where are the uh modifications the under are body mods? General bionic uh, modifications uh, yeah. number seventeen. Mm -hmm. That does not tell me anything. Bionic modification. Zero bionic modifications. General K zero. And then it's number seventeen. Uh, and then a doctor, and a sword, and a savior, and then angels. You know, angels are like stupidly expensive, but they make you literally immortal. <laughs> like, yeah, basically oh, unkillable. Uh, ah. they're very, very powerful. And that's one of the stuff that I'm waiting to, for bonus to buy, <laughs> so they can be. Uh, we'll see. Unkillable. Okay, here's here's my reasoning for not getting nano docs. Mm -hmm. I have a melee armor of two and a ranged armor of three. I have That's 250 true. health. Yeah, you're, you're pretty armory. So pretty I've good. been kind of like hoping that this glass cannon type deal works out for me. <laughs> because under that, I've got like paper thin armor. Yeah. Let's see, what is bonus? Oh, shit. I think bonus has nano, I mean, bonus has nano saviors. Oh. <laughs> He's already up there. Who has nano saviors? Bonus. I forget. Oh, if you yeah. already have. I mean, I don't think this is a gimmick past nano docks oh, but if you have the step cheaper? below yeah yeah and no you can't you can't upgrade like that that you can, you can upgrade from nano docks to nano saviors or nano sorgs but then nano saviors and nano angels are boss for balance things. purposes yeah because yeah. they make you like almost unkillable <laughs> hmm. understandable um hmm, let's see Oh, did I give bonus is cool? Okay, he has his two trigger fingers. He has two guns. He can dual wield. God. Yeah, he's already scary. I kind of want to upgrade How much health leg. does bonus have? Bonus in total? Uh, 850. Yeah, 800. You remember he has a shield. So. Yeah, because he has a shield. Tower oh, shield. wait, so do I. Yeah, yeah you, you get, get, you get up there, total, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, then Oid, I haven't Oid had is to actually use with it the yet. least health in the entire party. Well... If you don't include shields, then, then Kyra wins, of course, but if you include shields, then Oid's the Bro, uh, least... Bro, Oid, you need to get, up. like, one, at least a shield. <laughs> <laughs> well, Oid doesn't need one, because he never gets shot at. Until he does get shot like, a 50 cal machine gun, but... <laughs> and then dies. <laughs> like, almost He's on, like, instantly. Like yeah. Man, Oid, Oid is a glass cannon. Oid, he's tanked more damage than anybody else in the party. It's true. <laughs> and survive. He's been it's shot true. so many times. <laughs> Every major mission, he gets domed and survives. <laughs> he is the Terminator of the group. Yeah. I mean, I hey. forgot. I've got two bionic arms as well. Yeah. Make it. That's, that's what gives you your extra hundred health. The yeah. Arms. Oh, Maybe that's really come. mean. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, is anybody else gonna yeah. buy anything or are we gonna move on to the next no we can move on I'm gonna no actually we oh, can't move mind. on oh, you see mind. I'm holding it aside I would like to purchase a oh, <laughs> modification Dakota. Dakota I know what I'm saving up for what technomancer <laughs> oh shit I'm saving up for the technomancer overhaul an extensive series of bionic implants and modifications to the brain that gives the user with technomantic capabilities requires a minimum intelligence set of seven, two hundred thousand callers. Yeah, we well, could afford that. So I'm saving up to three hundred thousand, so I at least have. Okay, like bonus. Like, hundred thousand. I can't afford rent anymore. I spent all my money on Chrome. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wait. What's your what's your what's your 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 big big boy purchase today? Uh, I would like to buy an ammo upgrade for my silenced gun. 
Ammo upgrade because for your silenced gun. I was recently reminded, I think, by Kyle that I think uh, silencers and suppressors now reduce weapon damage. So. Oh, uh, yes, they do. Yeah, I haven't upgraded the. Uh, I was looking to get a little bit of damage improvement via rip ammo, probably. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Let me upgrade. Actually, I might, might as well copy that over. Also, wait. Do I want to do. What do you think about advanced increment based movement? My legs. What, what do we feel about that, boys? Yes, no, maybe so. Take that as a no. Hmm? Say what? I was asking, how do we feel about getting advanced increment based movement for me legs? How do I uh, get for me legs? I'll pass for now. Hmm? What? You mean for your legs? Or his legs? For my legs. No, for my legs. You're gonna oh, for two legs. you. No, I already oh. have two legs. You already have two legs? Oh, yeah, you do have yeah, two legs. Yeah, I already have two legs. And I was like, oh, I could just be super silent. But I was like, do I really feel like doing that? And then I was looking at the... Uh, I mean, they're already pretty stealthy. Yeah, the... Tight tonight plating, I was like, ooh, and I was like, fuck, that's 50. And then that's really just a hundred thousand for me. So, wait, buying upgrades for implants. Yeah, I still need to double that, right? Forget uh, upgrades for implants. I don't remember. How yeah, well, it's been too long. Let me find where it is. I forget where that stat is. Bionic compatibility. Uh, cyber. Augmentations in cyberware are excellent ways. Okay, okay. If a character regenerates naturally without aid, they have three options of receiving hey. bionics. Don't you have the Lazarus Diffuser for bonus as well? Uh, I think, yeah. Did I? I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I bought that, actually. I think I wanted to, but I, mean, I, don't know I know we talked about it. it. Let me double check. No, no, we did not. Uh, I know you. I know you had it planned at one yeah, point. I wanted to get it for him. Like, you could probably afford it now, but he'd probably be dirt poor. <laughs> 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 As uh, his bonus's mantra of uh, "Who needs money when you have Chrome?" Let's see where is it. How much is it? I think. Hmm. Oh, uh, actually, I think getting. Add-ons because it says doubles the price of any and all implants. So, mm, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the oh. next thing I'm gonna get, uh, not this session, but after this session, is the vitals monitor. What does that do? 150k. He could not afford that. Gosh darn it. All right. Well, uh, the vitals the monitor course. allows you to keep an eye on your vital organs. Oh, on your own you organs, yeah. It basically lets you become like your character becomes aware of their in game like health stat. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I've got approximately, that. if I were to put a number to this, <laughs> I've got approximately 250 <laughs> out. <laughs> like, how, how good are you at perception? Well, if I had to put a number on it, say 1 through 10, I'd say about a 6. <laughs> <laughs> self aware stats. Yeah. So I, I've added your stuff, Oid, and updated your... Oh, uh, it seems my sanity's at a five. <laughs> uh, suppress also changed. Suppress also lowers damage, but not by as much as silenced. Uh, where is suppress? Suppress? I'm pretty sure suppress is lower down. Yeah, suppress is by minus 20, and then silence is by minus 40. As is the new balancing rules. Okay, so anything else purchasables, gentlemen? I don't think so. Oh shit, I forgot I got the parallel processing. Alrighty, okay. Cool, cool, cool. In that case, uh, we will get down to the actual meat and potatoes of the campaign. 
So, like three or four days, uh, I'll make it four days, after your last job, uh, you all uh, wake up bright and early one morning at like 6 a.m., probably far too early for most of you that need to sleep. So not Lloyd. Lloyd doesn't sleep. Uh, but for the rest of you, uh, very early in the morning, text from the captain, owner and operator of the Condemned, local mercenary bar. And he asks if you guys would be interested uh, in uh, coming on down to the bar and filling in a shift uh, for Crommel, because Crommel has mysteriously called in sick. Ominous, but all right. Oh, does he ever uh, call in sick? Yeah, Crommel uh, uh, sent Captain a text at like two in the morning uh, saying that he was very ill and uh, couldn't make it into work today, so he has to, so Captain has to find replacements pretty quick because the bar opens in a few hours. That doesn't sound like the chromed out man that I know and love. Someone took out his artificial kidney. <laughs> someone, someone destroyed his artificial spleen. Somebody, somebody harvested his kidneys while he was asleep. God. His cyber kidneys. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll show up. Er, bar simulator, I don't mind. I used to work at a bar when I was younger. Just a bunch of heavily, heavily armed uh, waitstaff. Uh, so you oh, you will each make, if you say yes, a whole 120 collars. Hey, I'm about it. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll make it up in tips. Literal chump change uh, to all of you people, but to an average working Joe in K4, and this, this is to help put into perspective how much money you guys make compared to uh, an average person. Uh, Someone wishes they could make how much I make. Yeah. So do we get the... Do we get, like, the DL on how much we actually helped, uh, Captain with how the much business? You Captain? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, when you guys show up to the Condemned. Well, yeah, hell yeah. Alright, I'll show up. I'll put on, like, uh, does he have a dress usually, code? Usually there's not enough people in there to sustain, like, an hour's worth of, like, steady work. Yeah, it's usually, unless it's ever, like, during, like, Friday and, like, the weekends, but, like, all the mercs are coming on down to get new jobs, but, like, the rest of the week, it's dead. Oh, yeah. Literal ghost town. Uh, during his shift, uh, with his mask on, Kara's gonna make plans to go with Donna later that night to dinner. Spend all, spend your whole paycheck on a nice dinner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, Cairo and Knox are going to go uh, fill in for Crommel. Uh, bonus will, of course, say yes. Bonus is nothing better to do. What about you, Mr. Oid? Well, you see, a rich man like myself is very busy, and it's because of that that I simply must oblige. I have nothing better to do. <laughs> so busy, Great. he has nothing better to do. So, you all arrive at the Condemned. Uh, like seven seven thirty in the morning, a couple hours before the bar opens, and uh, you know, Crumbles and uh, Crumble, uh, Captain's like, all right, uh, so uh, I appreciate you guys coming in here at the short notice. So, you know, I figured that um, you know, Bonus could be the bouncer, Nox could be a waiter, Cairo could help me behind the bar, and Oi hey. could uh, spike the food with cocaine. I mean, cook. Ryan, that type of business? Captain winks at you. Please. I can't wink back. I'm wearing my mask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so he, he gives, like, uh, you know, you guys, like, dirty aprons and stuff. Um, minus bonus, who doesn't need one because he's a bouncer. Um, and he gives Oi, like, one of those, like, hair nets, but Oi doesn't have hair. So it's just kind of, like, sliding on his perfectly smooth chrome head. <laughs> He auto generates like a tuft of hair on top just so yeah. it means something. <laughs> just so it is not totally useless. Insta perm. Yeah. Um, but yeah. He takes on the persona of a full on Spanish man. Hola. <laughs> Sergio. 
<laughs> God, I should make this a shit work, shouldn't I? I'm gonna write that down. Yes, yes. Great He's got the here. same exact build as, uh, what's his name? Flavius. Mm, it's gonna be like, uh, Lucio from Overwatch. Use music as, like, mm. a weapon. Oh, God. Uh... That'd be so cool. I'm actually writing that down. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Yeah, Hello, I mean, my name is Sergio. I need you to do a job for me. I am Sergio. Sergio. Me amo Sergio. Yeah, it's the kills. <laughs> gets, gets shotgunned by bonus immediately. <laughs> God. I believe it. That's the one person that Cairo actually like is like, no! Why'd you do that? <laughs> Oh, he! I could have sworn he was a clone from. I had, you know, I know this other Sergio. <laughs> I know a guy named Sergio. <laughs> this guy. Oh, I'm just. A, I just had a really cursed thought. Hmm. Uh huh. It's like you know, Chiron, Chiron and Sergio, you know, talking, talking, and then Bonus comes up and blasts him away. I was like, no, he was like a brother to me, and then Bonus goes, "That's why I did it." Five minutes. <laughs> That's why I did it. <laughs> He was threatening my position. <laughs> Lord. God, imagine... Bonus is like a deep cover operative. For himself. <laughs> God. I believe it. I can see it. Bonus is psyoping the whole party. God, that'd be so upsetting. Remember that Everybody... <laughs> Oid's like sitting on a beach, not sipping a pina colada, uh, and just like sitting on a lawn chair. Bonus just walks out of the water with a silenced deagle and caps him in the head. <laughs> uh, oh. God, that that would be how he would have to do it too, because uh, as Kyle knows, silencing deagles is a crime in K4. It is. I can't, I can't do it. Can't I can't do it. it. <laughs> the moment I do it, we fight mechs constantly. All of our enemies. <laughs> the Immediate so Iron Legion right. deployment on our location. <laughs> yeah. The Iron Legion. We're not even psychers. The Iron Legion just yep. comes in. Full, full two-story mechs with like the whole like cast systems and, and mm -hmm. EMPs. It and is, in fact, and... a, against the Geneva Convention that does not exist. Yeah, it's against the corporate oh, court. You can't sound the Geneva. Mm -hmm. What did I miss? I don't... You you haven't missed anything. You just haven't realized what's been going on. Yeah. Silencing a desert eagle in any setting of mine is, is a horrific crime. K1 Why? Included. Why? Because it's cursed. John, <laughs> like... What if we I want to make a Stendo deagle? Dude, it's Stendo deagle. He's buying a scented barrel or a compensator. No, it's just... It can't <laughs> be silenced or suppressed. Yeah, it's, 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 like, it's, it's, you have to go loud and proud with a deagle. Yeah. That's why Bonus has like eight different guns. <laughs> <laughs> so he has one that's silenced, one that's not, one the two deagles, the backup pistol, the snub pistol, the gel pistol, the shotgun, the assault rifle, you know. Yeah, everything. Yeah. That's so cursed. But, uh, yes, yeah, so you guys uh, begin your shift at the Condemned, and it becomes pretty, pretty obvious fairly quickly that uh, the popularity level of the establishment has increased rather significantly since the last time you all hung out here. Uh, not that many of you hang out here for fun, uh, minus bonus and Cairo, who are psychopaths and do that. Uh, yeah, we do. Not, it's, it does too sometimes. But uh, yeah, so it is definitely, uh, it's not like, you know, a, a packed club with a line at the door, but it is still consistently filled. Um, and you guys are having to work with a certain level of expediency to keep these crazy mercenaries from getting too uppity uh, even though Bonus is more than happy to choke slam the nearest person if Zerichi calls for that but, you know it'd be and, like that uh, yeah, I mean you know, you keep doing keep doing your, your jobs various jobs you've been assigned and it, it, it does come to, I think, all of your your minds, if it hasn't already, that Cromwell calling out sick isn't something you've ever heard happen before. Like, That's he's, what he's I'm been here saying. for like, like almost a year in game. It's so long. This game has been going on in game. It's almost a year. And uh, 
he's been here almost the whole time. So several months he'd be working here. And not once perfect I'm time. saying it's not normal. Yes, you do I think know, that do it's we know? Eh, it's fine, it's fine. You're in for nothing. I feel definitely over the comms. I'd be like, so uh, about Cromwell, right? Uh, does he have any enemies? Who are you asking? Anyone that's on comms. Is, oh, wait, is what are you asking about? And going on about if Cromwell has any enemies. Um. Well, the uh, Crimson Crescent surely is one. But like, yep. do you think he had like a run-in with him, and he doesn't want to get the captain involved? So that's why he called out sick. I'll say this: Cromwell is essentially a tank. He is a walking and talking tank. So, I mean, I don't I... think. I I think if Cromwell were having difficulty with anything i think we all have a reason to be concerned mm, this is true this is true mm. or do you think he had to just deal with business and just couldn't didn't want to do it on company time you know so he called out sick i mean it's possible i guess we could just talk to Cap and see if he if Cromwell has mentioned anything in the past this is also true so let's, let's just finish our shift, and then we'll talk about it with Captain. All right. All righty. So uh, you guys keep doing your shift. The bonus has to drag a few mercenaries out of the building by their hair after they drink a little bit too much uh, of Captain's bootleg liquor. Uh, and the stolen like, liquor. I like roast some of them. We're annoyed to you. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's at one point, uh, as people are filing in and out of the place and the, the bar is, you know, approaching its rush hour around like seven o'clock at night or as your shifts are beginning to wind down um a a young a young lad walks through the door of the condemned none of you have ever seen him before which is weird because generally they can I mean sure the condemned is more popular now but at least like you've heard of people that come through you've seen them before either in like the news or you've heard about them through the grapevine because i assume you're all at least some of you are involved in the mercenary world outside of the four of, 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 of the players um, in the bonus. And uh, this young young lad, couldn't, couldn't be older than 20, walks to the door, uh, looks a little bit lost, and uh, Captain sees him, and he's like, ah, just just the, the young man I was I was looking to see. Uh, and he calls over uh, bonus Oid, uh, Cairo, and Knox. Like, yes, uh, the group, the gaggle of retards, please. Uh, kind of, you know, uh, the staff to the bar, you know. I have, I have somebody that I need to introduce you to. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah. I'm there for it. Uh, well, yeah, you're obviously you're already there. You're attending bar. Um, so as, as Kyra was uh, washing mugs and wiping down the bar counter in the same spot over and over again like a true bartender, um... The rest of you make your way back to where Captain is standing, behind the counter. And uh, this young young lad is standing there, looks like a, a Korean guy. And Captain's like, all right, uh, folks. Uh, now, I know that, that you lot uh, are sort of an insular group of people. You know, we don't talk to very many other blokes in this building, besides myself and Cromwell and maybe a couple of people. But uh, I feel like since you you folks are approaching the, the point where uh, jobs are going to start getting a little bit out of hand, I think it would be wise to consider bringing a dedicated medic onto the team. And uh, in that case, I would like you all to meet uh, a, a rather new new face around these parts in the in the mercenary world uh, he gestures to the young Korean man We're like uh, yeah this is this is uh, vendetta vendetta this is a uh, uh, bonus and he points to the towering dude in the weird mask uh, and this is Knox he points to the woman built like an Amazonian 
Uh, this is Cairo, points to the dude in the uh, weird Egyptian-themed uh, bonnet mask and trench coat. And then that uh, robot right there is uh, Mr. Oid. I think wow. after we all get introduced, and, you know, Captain is like, oh, I, I thought you guys could use a minute. I, I turn to him, and I blink, and I look to the other guy. And then I think I just walk out of the room. <laughs> Yeah, I turn back to the Captain. I'm like, you, you know, I know Oid was a medic. I'm like, well, Oid's kind of a medic, but he's not, you know, a dedicated medic. He can't like uh, patch up. In layman's terms, you know, he's a specialized drug dealer. I, yeah, I shout back a, like, I knew you were a medic. Oid is a street pharmacist. Okay, but that, that's hold, held you guys over for now, but. You know, once you guys start picking fights with armies and stuff like that, that will be insufficient to patch up the kinds of injuries that you're likely to obtain. This is true. They did bring tanks that one time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it'll only get worse from here, so... I think uh, Mr. Vendetta here would, uh, you know, help soften the blow the next time somebody tries to fire a 120mm shell at your face. Fair enough. I mean, you couldn't see me from that kind of an injury, but still. Well, welcome to the crew. Nice to meet you all. You're, uh, interesting cast of characters. I can see quite clearly. Mm. We try. I feel sure, like Bonus is just, like, staring at, at the new the new kid. And he turns to, to uh, Captain, and he's like, Bro, this this kid could be like my son. What what? Why? What's what's the deal, man? Captain's like, I. I'll have you know, I'm thirty years old. <laughs> you are. And Ron is just like looks back to you, and you can't tell from the mask, but he is like blanching. Uh, and he's like, uh, what? I'm thirty years old. I like say over comms, I'm like, I swear they have products for their health, man. God. Um, bonus is like, well, I mean. I'm not tripping, though. You did describe him as young looking. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. He I was 19. I... Oh, God. Specific. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, actually, at least he looks legal. It's fine. No, actually, he's a three year old child, he's a toddler. <laughs> It'd be funny though. Uh, like no. that would be <laughs> would be pretty funny. <laughs> Literal and new like, charisma. Goo goo gaga and blows you up. Yeah, yeah. bro. Osprey was <laughs> fucking different. Bro, Os I have a smasher, but he's like an infant. <laughs> well, I have in a smasher, Ryan, but like a fetus in a in New York. Would be so cursed. That would be, too. yeah. Peter's in a mech suit body. So anyways, yeah. yeah uh, what was I going to say? I know. How did you meet the captain? I was contracted. Uh, so, you know, I'm relatively new around these parts, but uh, I did have some business in this uh, type of industry beforehand. So, one thing led to another, and I ended up finding some work here. All right. If, if you want to captain. talk about... Yeah. Yeah, whatever. It's not important. Anyways, whenever someone I'm ready for it's work. Important, or... It's immediately important. <laughs> I saw that. Okay. Anyways, I'll, I'll turn to Cap and be like, and oh, never mind. I was gonna say we're the best group for this new timer right here, but then I went, yeah, I don't see many groups really publicizing in your bar. I mean, hey, you know what? Extra hands are extra hands. This is true. This is true. Well, I guess with. Slight introductions out of the way. What can you do? 
Well, I can install Chrome. That's one thing I can do. I could also heal pretty much anything that could ever be wrong with you. But, you know, that's a completely separate point. Um, I know how to handle a gun. I'm not a stranger to that. I think that is, like, the most sought-after thing in this group. Welcome aboard. Yeah, I would assume so. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you see the, like, I mean, for one thing, one of the members is literally a robot, which I think (laughs) is, you know, 100% chrome. But, like, I think the only person who isn't visibly very chromed out is Nox, but that's only because, like, she has the skin grown over the metal. Yes. But the other two are, are very obviously heavily decked out. I guess well, you. I mean, I mean, eye. look at it like this. This Cairo only Cairo, Cairo only really has the arms that are visible. Yeah, but that's like, like unless he six of your body. <laughs> that's not a lot. Unless he like takes off his mask, then then you can see his eyes. I guess. Yeah, Bonus is definitely looks the most chromed. He's got like the full two arms. His arms are huge because he has the expanded plating on them and the armor, bionic spine, face mask. Enough internal auto oh, yeah. to kill a horse. You guys want to see something cool? Sure. sure. All right, check this out. As I fucking, you know, slap my hand down and then uh, turn it into a crap ton of ripper dock tools. Oh, ah. yeah. So he slaps his hand down and his, like, fingers, like, unfold into, like, scalpels, tweezers, needles, like a laser cutter. Like flashlights, magnifying glasses, like like a Swiss Army knife, it just explodes outwards. Now, do you want to see something cool? <laughs> well, uh, if if well, this wasn't you? scared of what you might pull out, but all right, let's well, see what you do got. You? Uh, I'll you? walk out from behind the bar and extend my shield. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so yeah, you have you have a tower shield, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, so a full, like you know, riot shield sized metal plates extend from his forearm. You know that is a hell of an upgrade if I've ever done seen one. Yeah, and you wouldn't guess it, but I've got recoil dampeners in my other arm. <laughs> oh really? Yes. Oh, let's see what else you're working with. I'm uh. Particularly interested in Chrome. And I will put away the shield and begin twirling revolvers at him. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess you would see that Cairo has the wiring ports in his spine down his back, and he has like a skill wire plugged into it. So he like you know t- draws these two revolvers. One of them is huge, and the other one is only bigger than normal. <laughs> and, like, huh. you know, things like twirling them and juggling them and, and doing, you know, fancy tricks. Quite the arsenal you got there. Oh, yeah. This is only a fraction of it. I'd imagine. From uh, what little I did here from old Captain here, uh, th- you know, uh, all of you are relatively well prepared for just about anything and i'm only here to add to that Fair well enough. as much as i can anyways always use the help like Cairo said yeah so uh why don't you regale me about uh some of your interesting stories i want to hear a little bit more about that well, there was the time we got banned from Berlin. Excuse me? Yes. Yeah, so that's right. Country. That's true. We <laughs> did get banned from Berlin. Well, except for Oi, but... How did you manage to get banned from Berlin? Uh, you know, we, we went for a for concert, you know? went for a concert, ended on us getting framed. Huh. For a murder. For murders, for murders that we may or may not have committed. We definitely didn't commit those. The bonus is like, yeah, and then Nox here tried to decide to, to jump off of a 30 story window and climb down rather than just climbing with the grip she has in it. was in the heat of the moment, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Name a point in time where Oid's gotten absolutely mauled by a high caliber round. Uh, there was a colonel incident. That was a very funny uh, encounter during the MDRRs. Oh, uh, yeah. Crime car. Uh, shredded Oid and killed Barry. Like Barry. Was it Barry? No, somebody else. Who died? Uh. You no, know, he, he almost died. Barry almost died, but you guys managed to save him. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, and then the colonels like riddled him with <laughs> SMG rounds, and then almost blew him over the corn cob grenade. And he blew them up with the corn cob grenade. That was fun. Uh, and the other. He should still have one of those corn cob grenades. I think he still does. I think he hasn't used the corn cob grenade for like in-game months now. He just hasn't <laughs> used it. <laughs> this is my special trophy. Yeah. And then there was the. <laughs> The wave survival in the desert where we got schwacked with a 50 caliber round and almost instantly died. Uh, oh! Uh, I'm gonna call Ankh out from uh, the uh, bar. Okay, so uh, uh, a big robotic uh, looking drone uh, creeps out from behind the bar. Well, wow. uh, I'll give a slight whistle and nod to Ankh as, like, I have him pop the 50 caliber machine gun out of his back. That is a dangerous puppy. Oh, yeah. There's also the time that we, uh, unalived. Well, no, we disappeared some people that were in a limousine, and Ankh had a lot to do with that. Hmm. That may or may not have been us. May or may not. Allegedly. Allegedly it was us. I don't know who that us is, but it was allegedly us. Very, very interesting. By chance, right. how many vehicles do you own? Bad. Yeah, how many vehicles <laughs> do you own? One. Okay. <laughs> We'll need to, to name that vehicle something with a crime-related thing. What would your vehicle happen to be? Uh, give me a sec, I'll call it over. As I just think of it. It just goes right. through the building. <laughs> <laughs> Still working out those kinks. <laughs> <laughs> I just paid the for the wall. The condemned. <laughs> through two buildings. <laughs> Flies through the uh, other nightclub. God, What's the one? Nice night plating. The the uh, the Koja agent is there. He's like, "Well, this will never do." <laughs> no, no, the Koja agent is uh, spared. But <laughs> the uh, agent is uh, a walking tank. Get one of us with the Koja agent. No, it flies like right in front of him. He's like, well, I've got two big drafts in this main room that we're going to have to address before you can open again. Before you can even start renovating, we're going to have to start with uh, this big draft. Yeah. We're going to here. But yeah, it's about that vehicle you call it. Yeah. There's a, what, what's the door made out of? What, the van or the building? No, the building. Well, the condemned. I mean, two buildings. The, yeah, the condemned is contained within. Okay, how do I explain this? Well, so the outside is a huge apartment complex that was built around the condemned because the captain wouldn't sell his land. So there's just this big apartment yeah. building, and then inside this like courtyard pocket area, surrounded by on all sides by metal, is this little square property with the bar in the middle of it. Um, and there's a single, like, two-foot-wide alleyway that leads from the outside into the little cave oh, yeah, where the conventions are. Probably just probably even, like, get through there. Yeah. Oh, it's oh boy. Just... There's no way I'm gonna be able to show you from here. So, okay, just walk take a walk. Alright, you guys, uh, leave the job. Captain is furious. Flyers you all in the Oh, boy. Is done? <laughs> Hey, I got my 120 callers. <laughs> you know, like, ah, it's so hard to find good work these days. A good, good healthy taste. Maybe that's more good. Ah, we'll be right back.
Yeah, so you guys uh, head outside the street. There is a really souped up uh, black armored van in the curb. Oh, we already have a vandalism van. But uh, it's not armored. This is, uh, this is my, and she doesn't have a name yet, but I'm well, sure she'll get one. Corruption cart. All the crash cart would be such a good name, bro. That would be a really good name. Anyway, so, actually, uh, oh, I just thought of something. What? Hmm. 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 Tell me, Dakota, what's what's the, the German word for ambulance again? Oh, Krankenwagen. Yeah, yeah. bro. Yes. Criminal Krankenwagen. <laughs> oh hell oh, yeah! God. Criminal Krankenwagen. I'm so, down with it. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's a beard, ain't she? Uh, let's take a look in the back. She's a little bit more uh, interesting on the inside. As I pop the back of the doors open. Yeah, so the, the two doors in the back open up on their, by themselves because and then it has you know, remote control features. They open up on their own, and you guys can see inside. Uh, it's basically a whole, like, Ripdox lab uh, contained in the back of the van. Uh, so with a full, like, stretcher, cabinets for storing equipment, the, like, metal arms up above to surgical people, lights, and the... Definitely a big prime prop and value. Actions? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... When you guys are riddled with bullet holes, this is where I'll be fixing them. Hmm. Yeah, or, I don't know, a client of some sort that needs to be transported, anything like that. She's uh, fully equipped with the murder holes and such. Yeah, the windows are ah. like folding down flaps so you can stick a gun barrel out the windows. Ooh. You'll also notice that there is no windshield. Yeah, the windshield. Does there have no an LED display? display? It's just a flat metal flame. There is no windshield. Oh, oh. Much like the, uh, the Dream uh, 18 wheeler we was stole. Oh, so it has an LED display? Yeah, the capsule cockpit. Nobody can tell what goes on in this vehicle at any time. So, oh, you know. For um, I like it. Exactly. I could be committing a 10 hour surgery in a parking lot if need be. And no one would know. <laughs> well, the screaming might tip somebody off, but. Yeah, you should look into getting that soundproofed. <laughs> well, we've got chloroform and we've got rags. Fair enough. Or we've just got a man that can, you know. Anesthetize someone. Yeah, there's that. Or we tell them to stop being a bitch if they want a cheap surgery. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a 10% discount if you stop crying like a little baby. <laughs> that is a joke. A spine okay. out. <laughs> Unless they can actually, uh, you know, tolerate it. I have had a few weirdos that uh, enjoy that sort of thing. But Sounds hey, right. that's money on my part. Answer smash cut the bonus. <laughs> but yeah, she's uh, relatively brand new. Not used as of yet. Ah, well, let's hope we don't get her in the way of fire. <clears throat> you know, we don't want to mess, mess her up too much yet. Uh, exactly. I'll call my car over. Oh, your uh, souped up MDRR car? Yes. Okay, so basically, uh, the equivalent of like a sci-fi like NASCAR mixed with like an F1 car pulls up by itself. <laughs> oh my God! Hey, wasn't this? This is on TV recently, wasn't it? Yes. Hey. Literally on TV. I have seen this. Bro, before. as seen on TV. <laughs> seen as on TV. seen on TV. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. I'll call my bike as well. 
and the it's just like a bunch of cars <laughs> driving <laughs> by themselves. The whole convoy of the, of the players' <laughs> cars down the block, holding up traffic. Hey. You've caused so the blood. We've got we've got a pretty lit <laughs> car park going on. You've alerted the horde. <laughs> we have. Uh, you've alerted the horde. Horde show. Is that what's going on right now? Uh, no, not really. I don't. We we got a bunch of cars. I just haven't souped up any that I owned. Just like you know, Kairos, you know, souped up sports car and his motorcycle <laughs> show up. So Bonus's funny. hover car shows up, and then like my shitty sedan. Yeah, this this the this, this station wagon, a white station wagon. Mm -hmm. Then a normal, a normal vehicle, and also don't forget bonus's hover vehicle. Jesus. Yeah, bonus has, but yeah, yeah. So a, a brand spanking new KE uh, hover car pulls up, which is like sixty grand, <laughs> by the way. Uh, that like hovers above your guys' heads, and then bonus's hover bike is like attached to like a sidecar. Like a, you know, like a tow cable. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Bonus only bus well, hover cars. Nif Nifty indeed. A lot of vehicles. Vehicles. Yeah. Rip first crime car. Pulling up my Yeah, my boy. rip. God. I've not forgotten. Mm-hmm. Cat booted on someone's arm. Yep. Not mine, of course. So, someone else. You know, yeah. they gotta take the fall for the crime. <laughs> yeah. I believe it, honestly. God, that's how you get framed for a uh, fucking crime. Rip crime car. Wait a damn minute. You're not talking about that crime Rip. car, are you? <laughs> dun, dun. There's also the vandalism van. Yeah, you still have that. Definitely didn't steal. I don't think we did. You, you, you guys don't, still don't have a larceny limo, do you? No. No. We, we messed that chance, chance up. Yeah. But you were larceny. You were, you were looking for a larceny van. We were going to take the larceny limo. Yeah. The larceny limo. And I got ripped it was, up. Uh, yeah, it got shredded. As happens. But yeah. So you guys are all, um, you know. Flexing, basically. Uh, and eventually, um, you know, you all at least get vaguely acquainted. Uh, I would assume being like the doctor, Vendetta, you would want them to be like, hey, can you guys give me like a file on like the upgrades you have? Because as uh, Alex and myself know, given the lore that I've written, um, certain upgrades will like react violently with certain chemicals and like drugs. Uh, and if so, like, if, like, for instance, if you have nanodocs, and you don't tell a rep doc that you have nanodocs, and they try to cut you open, that uh, will not, not be, be good. Pretty. Yeah, it just won't work. Yeah, because the the wounds will just keep trying to heal, and I can be like, God, God, stop healing! Ah! Um, so they have to use like blood everywhere, just bleeding them dry. Yeah, um, nanodocs have special deactivation chemicals. You can get it like stabbed with, and that will keep the docs from uh, auto healing Activating. the wounds. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I would assume that you all would want to give Vendetta that information. If not, uh, you can let me know. Uh, yes, I will absolutely give him my file. I don't think I'm gonna tell Alex's character anything. <gasps> but he can understand fix robots, bro. I can fix a robot. I don't know, man. This is a special robot. I mean, yeah, but I've got a good thing going with, you know, my guy here at the dam. You mean the guy that hates Cairo's guts? <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta, like, go down to Britt's office because he's got most of my forms. Yeah, and he's like, like oh, hey, what uh... are you doing back here? I just need my... Uh, I just... Listen. Uh, listen. Uh, okay? All right. Get get I, know I know you don't like me. I know you don't like me. I need my forms. Please. I need my certificates of authenticity. All right, Kermit. I've already emailed them to you. Thank you. Was that so hard? Yes. Man, they really do not like Cairo. Yeah. No, Brit does not like me all because I ruined a patient once. 
Oh, I thought it was because you kept bringing him patients. That too. Yeah. You guys have dropped off like half a dozen different bleeding people. <laughs> he's been like, fix him. And he's like, what? Why? And you're like, because we told you to. And he's like, God, Because if you Damn don't, it. we'll fail the mission. <laughs> no, we'll shoot you. Or something like In that. In the balls, specifically. Um... I'll hold off on giving him information only because I'm like, yeah, he's already doc. But let me run a few missions with him first. Well, no, Alex is actually uh, psyoping you guys. He's a uh, Jackson Industries plant. That could happen. Don't joke about that. It's a touchy sure. subject here. I start playing cheeky breaky on my sound system. <laughs> Yeah, so, no, uh, you no, I did not. Vaguely acquainted, uh, Bona sends over his information, and he is chromed to the teeth. Not literally yet, but that'll that'll come eventually. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, eventually, I guess you guys go back inside the bar and uh, finish your shift while Vendetta just kind of lounges around, I guess. Yeah, and eventually your shift ends. You guys make a whole whopping 120 collars. Uh, I also the captain will also pay Vendetta 120 collars because he knows that Vendetta is dirt poor. Yeah. So. He, he no money. Enough money to pay for, like, food. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what what now? What do? What do? Well, let's clearly, find a job. Clearly, we have to just know. Uh, I don't know what type of jobs Vendetta is used to. Well, now we've got a doctor in our midst. You guys did say you wanted to inquire about the Cromwell thing. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's that's right. So is that uh, still the plan, or...? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, you finish your shift, and the bar is closing down late at night. And, uh... What? What do you guys say to the captain? Well, uh, I think I'd be like, well, Captain, so about Cromwell, right? I heard he has had perfect attendance ever since he started working, yeah? Uh, he's like, yep, not missed a single day. Except for today. Well, yeah, except for today. I thought it was weird, but I don't know. I didn't pry. Mm, I don't know. Apparently, Cromwell is, you know, super tough. What's the over-under on him actually being in trouble? Uh, oh. Like, well, I mean, seeing as I'm pretty sure that guy has more chrome than flesh at this point, uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't think I fully believe the whole I'm sick thing, but... Shrug. I don't know. Can I roll an intelligence check? Because I don't want to just make this assumption. God, what we, like, screw up. Because I... What are the odds he's chrome crazy? Well, I... What are the you, odds he's finally lost it and gone chrome crazy? When you finally when you when you crazy, said that, you by the way... <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, but true. maybe he saw it coming. And it was like, he, uh, like oh, beforehand, he was like, okay, I'm just not going to go in today. Yeah, but he could have because... done the case and he would have gone to Brit and be like, take the chrome out, British man. And like, you know, gotten... You know, so he wouldn't go chrome crazy. But. Hmm. Mm, I was thinking that All too. Right. Like, right. If you miss his let's, let's Let's do this. Let's check on him. Let's not make any assumptions or misconceptions at, at the start. Let's check on him. See how he's actually doing. He's only like right upstairs. So. Yeah, he lives in the uh, the apartment building around the condemned. Exactly. So he's only right upstairs. 
so nothing's really keeping us from going to check on him. Alright, well, let's do that. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so Captain can give you guys Cromwell's uh, apartment number. Now, I think he lives on the third or fourth floor. You guys walk around. Um, I should note that uh, as you guys walk in, you see that this is actually a pretty swanky apartment building for being constructed over the condemned, which undoubtedly lowers the property value by <laughs> an absurd <laughs> amount, uh, given the kind of shady characters that, that uh, patronize the place. But uh, yeah, so this apartment building has like a, a doorman, it's got a concierge, it's got like a front desk, a lobby, fancy elevators, you know, potted plants, the whole nine yards, super nice. Um, in the elevators, it's nice elevators, you go up to like the fourth floor, you walk to from Cromwell's apartment number, it's his door, it's closed. Who's gonna knock? I'll give it a knock. All right, you give it a knock. No answer. Uh, Cromwell. No answer. There? Issue. I'll turn to the rest of the party and, like, draw my revolver. No, wait. Shouldn't... Would Captain have the keys? Uh, no. Captain, well, uh, actually, and the owner of this building are bitter rivals. They hate one another. Uh, well, I'm gonna try the door handle. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a sliding door. Can't see, like, keypad sliding door. Is there any sign of forced entry? Uh, no. There's about to be. <laughs> <laughs> draws, draws Titanic Katana. There's about to be. <laughs> I was tempted to. I was like, wait, wait, wait. We have Cairo. Surely he could just, you know, yes. open it up with his hat. I can. Yeah. I can, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I jack into said door? Uh, yeah, you can just, like... Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me a man after approximately 8.30. Uh, yeah, give me, give me a, an intelligence check. This is only a... On the, on the, on the Not like I haven't done doors before. I want to tell kind of weird. That's a 7. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, so you uh, didn't have to jack into it. You just look at it. Um, you, like, use One, your metal two, finger three, to, like, <laughs> to, like, peel, like, the side of the keypad off. And then you like reach behind the panel and like fit it with the wires, and then it unlocks, and you just put the keypad thing back on, the cover back on, God. and it's and it opens, <laughs> and it slides open, and uh, you see uh, what was once a nice apartment has been thoroughly trashed. All right. Yeah, uh, drawing that revolver was a good idea. All right. It's the well... new big one, by the way. Oh. Not to get it twisted. The big boy. The big boy. Uh, Cromwell, Cromwell, here. Uh, so you you have a look around the first, so like there's like the first little entryway with like a. How's it feet, like cut up, room. by the way? Um, yeah. So there's there's the first couple feet in is like a mini mud room with like a mat on the floor and like a, some coats and jackets and shoes and boots and everything. Um, then beyond that is the living room on the right. On the left is the kitchen, and then on the uh, far right on the far right wall is a hallway that you assume leads into like the bathroom and the bedroom and all that stuff. I'm gonna right. put on that EM vision. Try a smart move. Are the lights on or off? They are off. Uh, I'll turn on the lights. Alright, you turn on the lights and you see that the apartment is uh, trashed. Like there's the furniture is knocked over, the vases are broken on the ground, there's chairs smashed to splinters, like there are holes in the walls, uh, like, this place looks like... Like bullet holes in the here. wall? Um, no, like, like, punch holes in the wall. Um, there probably, there might be, uh, one bullet hole in one of the walls. Okay, I mean... Uh, Imagine in Cromwell taking trouble from anyone. Is uh, a terrifying thought. It has to be just a group of people. It, at least one of them had a gun. He has four arms. He does have four yeah. Arms, yeah. I don't know about you, but if I'm targeting Cromwell, you think I'm going to try to 1v1 him? Well, if you're big enough, then you can. Okay. Or if you're crazy enough. Alright, I, so 
his enemies are the Crimson Crescent, right? Like you said, I'm pretty sure they're not that crazy to go. Yeah, this big man with four arms. One, one person. One person. Who will be? Fist of cops. Right, right you're now. Chrome crazy. I mean, I don't know how many gang members in like an organized gang than Chrome crazy people after. Well, there, there, there is like a practice. This is like a also a relatively new lore thing, but. There is a ah. practice where uh, gangs will purposefully drive some of their members chrome crazy and keep them like leashed dogs to be used uh, to like what? make examples out of people. Yeah, it's not humane, but this is K4 and nothing's humane. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I'd have to retract my statement since I didn't know that. Yeah. And this doesn't oh. look like a chrome crazy incident because if it was, there'd be a lot more bodies. Like they don't just like it. It wouldn't you just be this apartment. <laughs> yeah, if you unleash a Chrome Crazy person, they're gonna kill everybody they can get their hands on. Yeah, there is. Right, well, uh, if you look around, there is actually some blood in here. So, there was a fight. All right. Hmm. Uh, they at least shot one bullet. How big is that bullet hole, by the way? Can we tell what type of bullet it was? Like either nine millimeter or forty-five ACP. You can't tell. Oh, all it's right. A pistol, pistol caliber. At least they don't have a big gun. You know, they didn't walk up to Cromwell and go, "Here's a deagle for the face." I don't uh, even think that would kill him. What? Uh, no. But also, not all of us are Cromwell, so you know. Yeah. There's that. All right. Uh, let's let's start searching. I'll get the bedroom. See if there's any. Actually. Fuck, I don't even know if he has any technology with him, so... You wanna come in bedroom, Kyra? See if he has a computer or something? Yeah, sure. Like, right. you have, um... Your EM vision up, right? That I do, that I do. So in that case, uh, well, I guess you all would see this, but Nox would see it first. Is that across... Like, on, on the far, far wall of the bedroom, as soon as you walk in, like, mm -hmm. the wall uh, that the, the bed is, like, up against, off to the right... There is a big red C on the wall in uh, bright neon red LED paint. Fuck, it's well, that that's poster, not subtle. isn't it? Yeah, but it also has, this, this, is, this is the special part, it has two vertical lines down it to make it look like a, a, a cent sign almost, or a dollar sign, but it's like the Crimson Crescent logo with like the dollar oh. ashes through it. Damn it, for a second, just because it was the LED thing, I really was like, it's a toaster. <laughs> it's, it's the toaster. <laughs> you finally I knew we should have fucking toaster. killed it. Ah, uh, no, it's the toaster, unfortunately. That's sad. Thankfully. <laughs> yeah, I guess if it was the toaster, that, that, that could explain why Cromwell could have gotten a 1v1. Because a robot would definitely do the trick. This is true. Robot v. Robot, you know? Yeah. Um, alright, well, I, I point that out, I'm assuming all of us know that's just the Crimson Crescent symbol. Kind of weird, weird that they left their kind of hard to miss. call sign back if they try and do this discreetly off. Wait, actually, you think they want a ransom from Captain? How'd they even get a hold of him? Ooh, isn't that the question? Hmm. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know about you. I don't know the specs of Cromwell, but if he's like fully Chrome, one good taser, Ooh, he's done. He's probably the only person that we know of that has <laughs> that is stronger than Oid. Stronger uh, bonus. Yeah. Bonus. I, mean, I mean, yeah, in but in melee, yeah, Cromwell could probably win just for a pure amount of attacks he can make. But in range, well, yeah, I think I think range bonus will probably win. But it'd be, it'd be an even fight, no matter what. It'd be pretty close. Yes. Alright, well, like I said, let's see if they left any more information besides, like, oh, here's our symbol, come find us, pay a billion dollars. God, that, that'd be something. Pay pay the ransom in the expense of Cromwell's upgrades. <laughs> pay for his upgrades. Yeah. All right, well, I'm heading to the bedroom to see if he's got a computer or something. Something we can look at. See if they left stuff to tape. Okay, what are the rest of you doing? Uh, is there a computer I can look at? 
there would be, I suppose. Dakota? He said there would be. So it'd be like, hey, Cairo, is this what you're looking for? Points to uh, his dead yes. laptop or PC. Yes. Alright. I'll start sifting through that. Anything oh, hmm. huh. I'm gonna look around for more blood stains. Okay. Uh, give me another perception check then. All right. Hold on. Once I'm able to actually get the roller up. Despicable. Unthinkable. Literally unthinkable. Six. Six. Okay. So you uh, examine with your with your doctorly eyeballs and your one uh, cyber eye. You determine that there seems to be amidst this chaos, some kind of method to the madness. Um, because the blood appears to be from two different people, or, like, at least, like, under two different circumstances. The first blood spray is near where the bullet hole is. And then near where the bullet hole is, and the blood spatter, there's also two uh, 9mm bullet casing on the ground. So... <laughs> Somebody shot somebody else at least once, maybe both times, and the bullet just overpenetrated um, and injured the person they shot. And then the other blood is in the bedroom uh, on, like, the wall, like, on the, the, do the door frame near the wall. Um, as if, also, I should like, like, note that the bed is totally disturbed. The sheets are, like, knocked off the bed. The table's... The nightstand's knocked over. The lamp is smashed. Like the the, the sheets are knocked over. Yeah, yeah. So you judging by just how everything is messed up, you figured these guys caught Crummel while he was asleep. Hmm. And then he woke up and like you know started duking around out with whoever attacked him. And uh, it looks like he got some some kind of hits in, or they got hits in on him. And then somebody shot somebody else back in the living room. Hey, um, well. Seems to me like your friend here got caught lacking as a, you know, lack for a better sort of terminology for it. Um, although, seems that he put up hell of a fight since not all this blood is his. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Makes sense. Let's see if we can find out where they actually dragged them out assuming they dragged them out the fact that he's not here kind of tells me that they probably did this is true true indeed can i get anything else off of it see like uh if there are any other small blood splatters that might have like led outside the apartment This one's a five. Okay. So you do see some more like blood drips by the door, um, but they they're they're in two lines. And there's also like a, a bloody handprint on the door. Um, mm. So it seems like two people were bleeding when they left the apartment, but the trail stops uh, once it gets past the doorway. Uh, but you do see that there are security cameras, bubble cameras, in the hallway. And you guys know there were cameras in the lobby. And also the concierge downstairs. And all that stuff. So someone somewhere would have seen what had happened. Or at least would have seen them drag Crummel out of here. Assuming they did drag him out of here. 
All right, well, I don't know if you see that, but there's that bloody handprint, which means somebody stopped here in the doorway. Uh, there's two different sorts of blood here, but it kind of just trails off and stops. I saw there's security cameras, though, so uh, if we can convince the lobby to uh, let us view the footage, we might be able to get a mark on what the hell happened here. I think I have a way to do that. We just don't say it's one of Caps and this guy. So. Wow. Well. I've been kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, well, it might be easier to just have Pyro form his way into the system. This is true. If he wants to do that, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, if you want to hack into the network, that'll be a 1d10 advantage. Okay. four. That's a six. All right, and then another one to get the cameras. Another one on four. One moment. That is a nine. Okay, so you get access to the camera systems. You see there are cameras in the hallway on every floor. There's a camera in the elevator. And there's a couple of cameras in the front lobby, and there's one camera that looks out onto the street out in front. This building is very secure compared to uh, most K4 apartment blocks. Definitely a security guy got paid off. <laughs> All right. Well, let's check that footage. Oh, Something had to have happened. So, this is when I give you guys a bunch of information. So, just like you see, cop the camera pull people out. Alright, so, you go back, you scrub through the security footage, and nothing draws your attention uh, until you get to around 2 a.m., which, if you remember, is when Captain said he got the text from Cromwell taking the sick day. At around yeah. 2 a.m., uh, early 2 a.m., like 2.05 or whatever, uh, three very, very wide men, by wide I mean thick, Thick, I mean muscular. Thick dudes uh, in black oh. cyber trench coats uh, enter. Uh, they pull up to the front curb in a in a black panel van uh, that has uh, a license plate on it, and uh, it has a license plate. You it said? does, and you can see it. Um, these three dudes in the trench coats get out of the van and they walk into the lobby. And what draws your attention to this particular trio of, of large men in trench coats. It's not because of the fact that they're showing up to an apartment building at 2 a.m. in a black panel van. It's because um, their heads are distorted and pixelated. And you can't see their faces. Uh, because they have terrible uh, ink injections like you guys do. So, you can't see their faces and that's what draws your attention. Because you're scrolling through the timeline and you see these three weird pixel blocks and you're like, hmm, that's weird. And you watch these three guys, they walk through the lobby, get into the elevators, and while they're in the elevators, they take out these uh, silenced uh, weapons, silenced pistols, and they like screw the sounds onto the, onto the front of them, and they load them and check them and everything. And then they make their way down the hallway, they stop in front of Cromwell's room, one of them passes their hand over the keycard reader, the door unlocks, slides open, they walk inside, then, I want to say like three minutes later, two minutes later, the lights in the in that half of the hallway, that, that like back rear half of the hallway, flicker and turn out, like, you know, like cut off for a second, and then like a minute later, the lights, you know, turn back on, and then another couple of minutes after that, we're now at like 2.10 uh, a.m., uh, those three dudes uh, come walking back into the hallway, dragging an unconscious and injured, bleeding Cromwell out of the apartment, apartment building. Uh, and one of the um, goons uh, is also bleeding. And you can tell that he's bleeding besides like a little bit of blood that he's trailing, but also because Cromwell did something to this guy to shred the, the tattoos off his face so you can see like half of his face 
and the other half is pixelated, and he's he, like he's been like clawed, like his cheek is shredded, like oh. a cheese grater was was carved down it. He's bleeding what? profusely, um, but he's he seems to be like walking it off. You know, he's scowling and he's angry, but he's not like ah. Uh, he's bleeding a ton. His trench coat ruined. Going to be a, a hell to dry clean that. Um, and then <laughs> these three dudes drag Cromwell out of the apartment, back in the elevator. They get down into the lobby, and then as they're leaving, of course, the night shift concierge is behind the desk, and he's just there in the open when these three dudes drag an unconscious man <laughs> through the lobby. Um, so the concierge, you guys see him, can't hear him, but you see him, like, talk and, like, yell at these guys. You'd be like, God, what the heck are you doing? Uh, so one of the goons pulls their pistol on the concierge, and when the concierge freaks out, uh, the goon tosses the concierge uh, a, a big wad of cash, says something to the concierge. The concierge uh, is terrified and, and just, like, stands there, like, you know, scared out of his mind. And then the three goons march down through the lobby, out to the front of the building. They put Crumble in the back of the van. They get back in the van, and they drive away. Can I take a snapshot of the half of that guy's face that's visible? You can. Nice. I'd like to. So do we want to visit the concierge, or do we just want to go straight to I'd say visiting the concierge is a pretty good idea. Alright, let's hope he doesn't, uh, you know, need money, because or else I'm going to put my deagle between his legs and say, you will die if you don't tell us. Oh, what? you're pulling a martine? What? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're gonna schnutz the man? Yes. Bro, schnutz is a... Deagle. The term schnutz coined by uh, Dr. Martine Latro in the old days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read him in the history books, so, you know. Anything else you guys want to do Bro? in the apartment? Mm. Uh, not that I can think of. Unless we can find something else. I'm gonna see if they left anything behind. Uh, they left the uh, two bullet casings behind and the blood, and that's about it. Uh, mm -hmm. We definitely need those bullet casings. We can trace that back, I think. Yeah. Maybe. Dry? That one's a bit dicey, I think. Someone's got a contact, right? <laughs> Maybe? I think I, I they know. gave bonus KPD uh, contact one time or something. I don't remember. But yeah, alright. Uh, in that case, you guys can make your way back downstairs to the uh, lobby. The concierge is behind the counter. He's just sitting Same behind one the desk. Same one as His computer. Uh, no, this is a different concierge. Oh. Uh, I'll go to him and be like, uh, sir. And he's who like, was, uh, uh, good, good, good evening, sir. What can I do for you? Who was running the desk earlier this morning? Uh, ah, yes, the, uh, the, the, uh, early this morning, the night shift guy? Yes, yes, uh, at around 2 a.m. Mm, yeah, that's, that's night shift, that's, uh, that's Samuel. Um, can you uh, speak with him for anything? Uh, I, I, I need to talk to him, yeah, I think he gave me the wrong key. Ah, no, no, no problem. Um, sure, uh, yeah, he's, uh, off shift right uh, now, but he lives in and... the building. I think he might have overcharged me. Oh, of course, of course. Um, yeah, we can we can uh, fix that right away. I can have him uh, called down right now. Oh, uh, no, no, that's fine. I, I just tell me where he is, because I think he might have my key. So I know he took a key with him last night. Uh, it's like, yes, uh, uh, of course. Um, yeah, he uh, lives in the building. Uh, he lives in the, uh, the employee uh, apartments on the upper floors. Um, and he gives you, like, you know, it's apartment number 69. Uh -huh. and then... Ah, perfect. Thank you. All right. You're welcome, sir. Have a good day. You as well. 
That guy knows we're not going to just talk to him. <laughs> yeah. No, but what is he gonna do? <laughs> Yeah, you guys, exactly. don't, you guys don't exactly smell like, uh, you know, reputable apartment residents. <laughs> what? <laughs> My apartment's not even on this block. Yeah. Hmm. You know, yes, yeah, so you guys can... I assume your plan is to go... Talk to Have a Samuel. nice chat with Samuel. Yeah, right. Cracks so guys, bionic knuckles. Climb up to the uh, upper floors, top floors where the employee apartments are. Oh, we're climbing there. Walk, walk down the hallway. Apartment number 69. It's right there. 69. Mm -hmm. oh. Alright, knocking, knocking, knocking. Alright, so you knocking, knocking, and. Uh, like a, a, a minute later, the, the door like slides open, but only about like a couple of inches. Um, and like there's like a dude, like a, a, a you know twenties ish, like mid twenties, uh, like Irish guy, standing there in like a wife beater and like pajama pants, and he looks like he literally has been woken up mid slumber. Uh, like, uh, Samuel. Like, yeah, who are you? Well, I'm here on behalf of my colleague. Now, I've got a couple of questions that I need you to answer. Uh, sure. You remember, uh, three guys coming through here tonight? Um, and it takes a second. And he's like, uh, three guys? Uh, no. Uh, with one of our, uh, employees... Like, uh, it doesn't ring a bell. Well, I have that's a question. To me. Well, Alex. You have a question? Yeah, sure. uh, so, with my medical diagnostic suite, uh, being able to tell what his heart rate is, would I be able to tell if he's lying or not? More easily? Um, depends on if he's a good liar or not, but I suppose yes. All right. So, a, a perception check if you want to try to tell if he is lying. I mean, it's not necessary, but because um, we literally have it on video, but we know he's lying. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway, so because I find it interesting. Okay, so I, I'll give you the plus one to the for the medical diagnostic suite. All right, let's do a roll. D10, yeah. Wow, it was a nine. Nine plus one. <laughs> Isn't a crit, but it still definitely succeeds. Uh, yeah, this guy is lying. Yeah, he's quite clearly lying out of his teeth. Yeah, quite, quite, quite obviously. Can we, guys can we get him on our same channel, by the way? I thought we would have done that so, yeah. before we... Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I think I think that, okay. that would have been, like, the first thing we do. I haven't did it to the oh, group shit, wait. Call. Do you have... A bionic mask? I'm assuming you do. I do. He does, but do you only have sub vocals though? Oh, no. yeah, that's what you need. Sub vocal. Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, we know what you're getting first. <laughs> Lumo. Yes. I don't got bread. No, he's poor. Don't worry. Uh, well, hopefully we'll you'll get, get some money from this. Um, hopefully. okay, well, this guy is lying. He doesn't want to open up the door, so he's putting the gun to his balls. Before, honestly, I, I, you know what he feels, Dakota. He he feels that big iron. Well, second big iron. I'm pretty sure John has the biggest iron currently, right? Big iron on his dick. This so. is the most damage, but yeah, in terms of raw size, this is the biggest iron. All right, well, the <laughs> second biggest iron, right, right against it. Be like, listen, pal, listen. Pulling a Martin right against the schnuts. Oh yeah, right there. I'm like, listen, listen. listen. Uh, we don't want any trouble. We just want information. We'll get out of your hair the easier you cooperate with us. Or you can't co Or, you know, if you don't want to cooperate, well, you know what happens. I got a really itchy trigger finger. a good idea. Okay. Um, well, the, you know, you, you 
take out the, the gun, slip it through the little gap in the door, um, and, and he's like, you know, his eyes go wide, and he's like, uh, uh, uh that, uh, won't be necessary. Unless inside, you know, I think, I think us talking inside is a lot better than this hallway. It's a little cramped out here, don't you think? Like, uh, <clears throat> yeah, of course, of course. And like, of course, like, of course. Taps a button and the door slides all the way open. Good man, good man. See, you're reasonable, right? Well, it's been a while since I intruded on somebody's property. Intruded? Like you let us in. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Well, well. Payroll, was it? Ah, regardless. You can cut the shit. We saw the tapes. We just want to know what they said to you. And what else... What else my colleagues want to know? I want to know what they said to you. Think you can recall that, or do you need a little reminder? As like I, you know, press it right up against once he lets us inside. Uh, he's like, uh, you yeah, know, no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm all good. Uh, yeah, uh, no, they, they told me that, um, you know, they gave me the money and said that that was to buy my silence, and then if I uh, talked to anyone about it, they would find me and, and, and kill me. Mm -hmm. Well, that's just too dramatic. How would they ever know? I don't know. Maybe, like, uh, some stupid... Explodes, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> killed everybody in the room. It's like TPK. Game campaign over. Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. If only we had a doctor. <laughs> if only. I mean, I might survive. I might. I survive that kind of explosion. I think if anything, it'd be like, well, I don't, I don't know. Maybe like some of the stupid ghosts. Oh yeah, you know that security guard you paid off, but you know we're not stupid like that. Cuts to us talking about the security guard. Yeah, uh, isn't that that security guard you paid off? Well, <laughs> he told you us got a... Look, uh, Kevin. Do you got a description of their faces at least? Uh, you're like, uh, yeah, but they were all like really tattooed and like one of them had like a really bad face injury I don't know somebody like stabbed him in the cheek I guess or, I don't know. Really bad. well give me give me a general rundown buddy you know anything helps uh, actually I kind of wonder does this guy have any chrome does this dude have any chrome uh, well he's a doorman so he probably has like an internal cell phone and like that's it I don't think this guy's enough money to hmm. be recording. Were you gonna reject his chrome? No, I was he wondering if he had any cyber it. eyes. Yeah. Um... So he recorded the, uh, their faces. But he gives you a general description. Um, he describes them as uh, three unnaturally large uh, buff dudes. It's they have uh, a Russian accent. I should mention, it would be best that he didn't have cyber eyes, because then he wouldn't have seen their face. Also, this yeah. is true. Uh, but yeah, he, he says that they didn't talk with Russian accents. They talked with a standard Russian accent, that being, Hey, I'm walking here. So, uh, like a New Yorker. Well, all right. Yeah. It's very good that you complied, because even as a medical professional, uh, I assure you, I don't think I could fix that. <laughs> Bro, the first virtual installation is not an NPC. <laughs> Damn. I could give you an upgrade, of course, but it would cost you. But yeah, no, I don't make uh, I don't make enough money to afford that. Ah, uh, what a shame. No nuts, Samuel. That would suck. Yeah, that would be pretty bad. I like inside. Samuel the doorman better than Donut Samuel. Nutless Sam. <laughs> <laughs> that that one might fit. God. Like well, uh, I mean, that's that's that's, 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 all, that's all, all that I know. Okay, guys. So like, uh, you know, is it all you need to be for, or? Hey, don't get your nuts in a twist. You might stay a little bit longer. He frowns. Uh, well, does anyone else have any other questions? Uh, not off the top of my head. Hmm. Hmm. How badly injured was uh, the man that they were dragging out? Uh, the 
like, well, he seemed to be dealing with it better than I would expect. I mean, if I was like that guy, I'd probably I'd be on the floor. Um, but he seemed to be, you know, pretty, pretty undisturbed, pretty, pretty, you know, like it wasn't that painful or something. Um, and it, it did look like it was like bubbling. So he probably had like some kind of uh, auto healing regeneration thing. Or like, no, he could have treated his face before they came downstairs. But yeah, it definitely looked like he would be sore in the morning. Huh. Now that's well, you or pain suppression plus nanodox. This is did true. You, uh, did you see where they were gonna go? Where they were heading? Uh, like, yeah, the uh, they they were heading west. West, you say? All right. Which is gives us uh, a bit towards of the, which is of course inland because you guys are on the east coast, and you're on like the coast coast too. Like this this district borders the ocean. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, I guess that answers. Ans uh, answers. Yeah. And, and that answers all my questions. Question for you, Dakota. Do we know if Brit was the one that put in his cybernetics? Uh, yes. Brit was the one that put Crumble stuff in. Okay. Possible idea, but I'll wait until we get back. Hey. I know what you want to do. So yeah, how do you uh, how do you bunch want to go from here? Mm, well, if there's anything that has remote access, we might be able to access it from Britt's office. Assuming that Brit keeps backups of data. Hey, actually, um, hmm. you know, he installed all of his cyberware, right? Yes. Do you know if, uh, do you know if, uh, Cromwell has live streaming uh, apparatus? Entirely possible. If he has cyberized, then yes. Well, if we can somehow get a connection uh, from the office to his eyes, we might actually be able to figure out where he is. That was the idea. Uh, he does not have cyber eyes. He has uh, only like torso or internal modification, like the four arms, big regeneration. Does he have the brain chip for the phone? Uh, brain chip for the phone? phone hmm probably not because he was pretty paranoid about being tracked by that sort of thing um well the one time that that kind of thing would come in handy ah what a shame yeah hmm does he have a gps on his phone i don't even think he has a phone well, no, oh, he does. Really? He does, he does have, have a phone. He would have found his cell phone in the apartment. Well, damn. Mm. See, he was, he was asleep when they, they caught him, remember? Yeah, yeah, I figured that's why. Uh... Is there any footage on his phone? Uh, I mean, there's, like, contacts and stuff. It doesn't, it doesn't look like Cromwell was very active. He doesn't use any, any social media, anything like that. His phone has, like, contacts for, like, Cairo and Bonus and some, like, people that he... Uh, did business with, like frequently, and like Captain and Brit. Well, that's what nice. What a secret fellow. Yeah, he doesn't seem to have had many friends. <laughs> well, at least he's got contacts for us. Um, I'm not sure you could consider that friendship. <laughs> well, no, it means he can rely on us if he needs us. Well, oh, yeah. Did you add me to the main K4 uh, character there's no, list? There's no character list. Everyone has separate. Uh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, the sheets are big. <laughs> yes. Big sheets. That dock would be a mile long. That would be. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So, no, uh, yeah, Cromwell. You guys would know that Cromwell 
was a very private person, especially since he knew that, like, you know, you guys had uh, basically forcibly emancipated him from slavery under the Crimson Crescent. Um, hey. And, uh... Hey, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, alright? Yeah, so he, he spent all of his time, like, working to make money and keeping keeping his head as low as he can whilst being a, a bounty hunter. Fair oh. enough. Wasn't low enough, bud. Yeah. yeah, that that would appear to be true. So, uh, what is shit. what is the plan if there is one? Well, do any of us know if any crimsons hideouts west way? As I look at bonus. Hmm. Uh, well, bonus. You be well. Question. You guys know, you know that Bonus has a lot of friends in a lot of varying places, and that he's been around the block a few times. Had a lot of beef with everyone. This is just like, true. why are you he's looking at me? <laughs> he's like, he's killed a lot of people. Um, I mean, you guys could show him some of the evidence you found and see if that would work, or you guys could, like, you know, use uh, Space Google and, you know, do some looking around. You could try to get that, that partial face uh, traced by, like, a contact or... You know, just ask around. Uh, you know. Right. Let's. Uh, I think Kyra's gonna check on some well-known CD forums. Huh. Actually, with my medical expertise, would I be able to reconstruct the other half of the face? Uh, yeah. So you could do that thing where, like, if you have like half somebody's face, you can mirror it, and it would be like, I mean, nobody's face is that symmetrical, but it's a decent enough approximation. That like it, it it will help narrow down what like a, a software could use to trace it. So yeah, you could do that. Hmm. Wait, All right. Got a new face for you. Interesting. So, anybody have a drawing tablet? <laughs> Gyro would. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna he need makes that. He all of his own art for his concerts. I should be able to give a rough reconstruction about uh, this, this chap's face. All right, yeah. yeah. Go for it. All right. How long is this going to take me, Mr. Donald's? Uh, mm. uh, probably <laughs> like... Oh, well, not long. I mean, if you have, like, space site, the Photoshop, it could be done in, like, five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Unless you want to, like, try to fill in the gaps and, like, edit out the grievous face wounds. I'll take the extra mile. Alright, then it would take like 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, give me give me a few. I'll be at this for a sec. Alright, well while you're doing that I can look at the forums. And I'll look at uh, space googling. Okay, what are, you, what are you space googling? I'm just gonna like you know those things where you're planning out a route? put yourself in one thing and go well here's my destination i'm just gonna just scroll through and be like all right what looks like a uh a, a place with, with bonus of course and be like all right they went this way mm. any of these buildings look suspicious to you because i don't know i feel like he's hunted like that before okay uh well i can tell you off the top of my head west of your current location would be most of Ryanstown. So, then, nearby Corporate District, where you guys did those missions for Hermes and stuff like that, uh, and uh, Dante Riddle, that's in that direction. Um, uh, the Huang Fung Restaurant's in that direction, the Red Lighters in that direction, uh, the, like, major train lines and airports are in that direction, uh, a couple dead zones are in that direction, you know, you guys are, you guys are, are, are backed up against the ocean, so west is the only real way you can go besides going north or south, so. And yet there are no roads that face true west. Yeah. Ah, uh, well if that's the case, then you think they'll put him in a dead zone area? I mean, if they want to kill him. Well, you guys know Kromo the, the best. You think they'd want to kill a guy who abandoned the gang? 
Actually. Possibly. Yeah, it would. Now that I think about it. But I mean, I think, I think they would have more of a beef with me because I killed the guy, technically, and I saved his life. Can I, can I ask? E bonus. Like, um... Hmm. I don't want to phrase this. Uh, I want to ask about any particular contacts you might have. And like, um, I guess a police force would might be the best way to say this, because okay. I just remembered we have their cars plates, right? Yeah. yeah. You do. Sure. Let me. I could probably run a back trace on the plates too. Uh, he does have uh, that guy in the con registration. I'm in the Rastafarian gun dealer in the Huang family. Um, but I can make him a new uh, KPD contact. I mean, I'm gonna have to go. I guess it depends. Do we want bonus to use contact? Or. Because we could have a. Or, I guess. Graphic camps or something, but it might be easier to just go to the source. Uh, fame ability that could be useful. No, I lost it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's up to you guys. Bonus can get into contact with people. Um, yeah, I mean, I think Bonus could give his two cents and say that if they wanted to kill Chromo, Chromo would be dead. The Crescent aren't the kind of people to like kidnap somebody and then schwack them. They have the the power to just murder wantonly and get away with it. Um, so yeah, there is there is that. Hmm. Definitely an interesting point. Yeah. Also, do you guys show uh, bonus the like calling card on the wall? Yes. Well, yeah. we would have seen it now. We didn't go into the bedroom. He was out in the main uh. room. Ah. Uh, then yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Go to ten. All right. Well, in that case, he knows exactly who this is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he says that that calling card is a is, so basically like important people in the crescent have their own personal calling cards they use to like denote their territory um and like identify their members because the crescent crimson crescent isn't a uh, a single fully centralized organization it is potentially like a bunch of tiny gangs that are part of and bigger alliances groups. that are big by that are part of bigger alliances that are part of the overhead umbrella crescent mm. um and bonus knows that this particular version of the crescent moon uh with like the dollar sign built into it uh belongs to a crimson crescent accountant uh named edwin zanoni mm. and he is uh a very special character I mean, the reason the bonus knows him because Zanoni is the Crescent's, uh, one of the Crescent's most important accountants in Ryan's town. Hmm. That'd be really bad if he suddenly died. It would be. Do we think he took out loans to get all of that chrome? As far as you're aware, uh, he did not. But, like, I mean... Captain said that he. Probably hunting does pay, does pay pretty well, if we're good at it. Ah, uh, do you think he might have owed something while he was in the gang and just never paid it back? Maybe. And they're like, well, you have a cybernetic body. Time to, uh... Well, you guys did, uh, what they take him out of Crescent's. Indentured servitude, so yes, you would have 
Oh, the then yeah, he definitely money. owes money. <laughs> yeah. In Kesson's mind, uh, he owes his life. Ah. <laughs> uh, that would explain it. Yeah. All right. Well, that makes that makes sense why he had zero like social stuff. So. Well, shit. What do you want to do about it then? I don't know. I don't know what we can do. Well, well, we can go and get him back. We could. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can. Both of those. I don't know about that, but one Cromwell it seems is equal to three uh, muscular guys. So I don't. I don't know how we match up against them. Well, yeah, but I mean, hey. We did just get a, we did just get a bunch of new stuff. So I mean, there's also mm. that. I think we should try to scope out where he could be before we think of a plan of like. This is true. Yeah. Okay. And how do you want to go about finding where they've taken your companion? Well, Bo said it's the accountant guy, right? So, if we pull some strings or just someone, mainly Cairo, looks him up, I'm pretty sure we can get a few buildings that we know is under his control or his district. If yeah, they true. mark territory, then we could just try to find what district he really owns. This is true. Yeah, you can space Google. Alright, I space Google it. The... Edwin Zanoni. Um, in the first article that comes up, and this is an article that is several years old at this point, probably like 10 or 15 years old, uh, it says, uh, Edwin Zanoni arrested by KPD under racketeering charges. Oh. Which okay. Is yeah. Uh, uh, bonus, under bonus, under bonus, I tell you, bonus, 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 bonus knows this. Uh, Zanoni's gimmick is he runs his operation from inside prison. Oh. oh. Interesting. Yeah, he, he does that, that simply to keep, it, well. keep his enemies from being able to get to him because he's surrounded by concrete walls and KPD guards. Yeah. Uh, he's in a minimum security prison, so it's still, like, luxurious, and he gets, like, a big cell and, like, you know, lobster for dinner and everything. Um, but he is uh, technically under arrest. Well, it seems like we're not gonna get to the main guy, cause uh, you you just don't easily break into a KPD prison, and get away with it. Yeah. Well, it is minimum no. security. Mm, it doesn't just... mean much. I think there's still a good chance of us dying. I wouldn't say dying, but the heat from KPD no. would increase. Yeah, a lot. Technically, KPD doesn't run prisons. Technically, it's. Uh... Containment Incorporated. Anything incorporated that, that runs the prisons. Don't, don't know how. how it'd be well, like a mix oh. of heat though, because then it'd yeah. be containment that's after us and the KPD. Yeah. No bueno. Yeah. yeah. No that's, bueno. that's your best lead right now is to talk to this this Zanoni guy. And you, I guess you could just be like, hey, oh, visiting yeah. hours? <laughs> like, yeah, honestly, yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's like, like visiting hours? Yeah. And he'd be like, you can't touch me. It's like, I mean, you're like right there. I'm pretty sure if I just punch the wall or something, I can just touch you, you know? You well, wouldn't like, dare do that. Uh, the, the place that I see just meet you in a room. Face -face. Oh, shit. Bro, we you have to go in for an interview. There will be guards in the room, so... We, nah, I, all Honestly, I think, I think we'd be doing a favor at that point. Well, fuck, actually now that I think about it, if we douche whack him and it's not a ghost whack, it's not two factions, it's three factions. Yeah, because it's the Crescent plus the KPD. Containment plus, plus KPD. I do. It's only Containment yeah. Incorporated. Sure, minimum security is minimum security, and they don't really care about, like, keeping them inside too much. And they get a lot of privileges, but... KKI they lose money, I'm that, pretty like, sure. Lock you up in a cryo tank for your prison because you're bad enough. Like, they do, they do horrible, horrible things. 
Yeah, so I think we can go in for an interview. I think if anything, we have we have Oid go in for an interview because mm. he's not gonna remember the face of Oid when he's switched to interviewer number five. I have a question. Sure. Yeah. So uh, after after this this face has been reconstructed, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, to my knowledge, how accurate would this probably be? Like. 50, 60 percent, 70 percent, maybe right. did we do a good enough job. Hmm. Okay. And would I be able to run this through some software to see if it, like, you know, matches up with any known people? Uh, you could. You could. You could like reverse image search on like Space Google and see if this uh, hitman has like a LinkedIn profile or something or like a Twitter profile. Uh, but if you wanted to get like legit information, you have to use a police software kpd mm, or other private security space google for now all right give me uh an intelligence check the space google man says a whole linkedin hitman for hire yeah oh. well, uh, i open for see for commissions <laughs> <laughs> 10. 10. 10. Oh. Damn. Hot yeah dice. Hot dice. okay well in that case uh, yes, actually, this man does have a LinkedIn profile. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Great. Uh, he has a, a Hitman uh, profile, and his name is... Uh, when I find it. it was, okay, when I find it, in my big old notes, his name is Roland... Sartori. And he is uh, pretty Lawrence. obviously a member of the Crimson Crescent, and he looks chromed to the nines. Does he have an update on his location? No. Damn. His, his status is marked okay. as being uh, a quote on the job. Does he have any posts? Does he have a current on... location? Does he no. He said he's on the job. Does he have any hoes? Yes. Oh. Does he have any favorited bars? Um. Yes. Yes, he would. Alright. So I'll provide this information to the group. Uh, please Perfect. tell me it's the one we just trashed. <laughs> the Ascended? Alright, bud. The Ascended. Please tell me it's yeah, the Ascended. It's really pretty funny. Uh, no, but it is right across the street from the prison. Ah! Oh, so, would you convenient. look at that? How convenient. A yeah. stroke of luck. I managed to find our... one of our perpetrators. That being said, uh... You want to see if we can find them? Yeah, sure, why not? Hold down. Beautiful. All right, who's driving? Mm -hmm. I think we can all drive. Oh, uh, we're all driving our own vehicles. Oh yeah, okay. we don't. We uh, really uh, car pool. Well, yeah, because uh, not everybody fits in the MDRR car. Yeah, we we only carpool if like you know we're some in the moment or we just need to get somewhere fast. Yeah, very true. All right. I guess I'll see you there. Yeah, see you guys there. We will end the session off here. Alright. Well, you heard the man. If you enjoyed that episode, please let us know. Or don't. Maybe we don't want to hear from you. Who knows? But uh, if you liked it, let us know. And we'll see you next time on Quest for the Core. <laughs>